I'm Anthony Murphy of Mythical Ireland. This is a short video using the wonderful Stellarium software, which is freely available to download, to demonstrate the effect of the visual effect of the leap year at the equinox in terms of how the sun moves from year to year at the moment of sunrise. So for our convenience, uh, we are positioned on the date of 2020 and the 20th of March which is the date of the vernal equinox in 2020. Uh, the vernal equinox in modern astronomical terminology is defined as the moment when the sun crosses the celestial equator. So uh, just to describe what you're seeing here, <laughs> obviously these lines are not visible in the sky. These are lines or hoops, circles as it were, uh, through the sky that uh, uh, modern astronomers have just defined. This one being the ecliptic, that is the path that the sun takes through the sky on its annual journey through uh, our sky. And the other line is the celestial equator. This is the line, the imaginary invisible line that divides the northern hemisphere of the sky from the southern hemisphere of the sky. It is really a projection of the Earth's equator out into space, as it were, if you could imagine uh, that the sky has a fixed distance from us, <laughs> like uh, uh, the inside of a globe. And this is the hoop through it. Anyway, this is the moment. Uh, uh, it's shortly after sunrise, 6.39 a.m. on the 20th of March, 2020. And imagine that we're at Cairn T at Loch Crew and we're looking east at the sun after it has cleared the horizon. Now watch what happens. I'm going to f go forward through the years here uh, just very slightly so that you can see that the sun's position actually changes slightly. Watch this. In 2021, the sun, you can see the movement of the sun there. It, it is slightly lower in the sky, slightly beneath uh, the celestial equator. And the reason for that is because every year is 365.24 days long. In other words, around about a quarter of a day more than 365 days so in effect what this means is it will take a quarter of a day for the sun to actually reach the position where it's crossing the celestial equator 2022 the effect becomes even more pronounced such that at sunrise the sun is uh, what is it four fifths beneath the uh, equator in other words most of the sun is still in the sun southern hemisphere of the sky and only a small portion in the northern hemisphere we come to 2023 and the date of vernal equinox and the sun is almost completely beneath the celestial equator. Now, if we go forward in time, you'll notice that the sun jumps back again and it keeps doing this every four years. Its position changes uh, over the course of four years. So this is the visual effect of the leap year at equinox for a pre-scientific culture, a pre-historic culture such as that which built the cairns at Loch Crew and the great monuments of Bruna Bonia and Sligo and others. So they would have noticed this, I think, a uh, careful observation. Of course, the Irish weather being uh, capricious as it is and often changeable means that you may not see the moment of sunrise uh, on the prescribed date every year. What we do to compensate for this is, watch, when I get to 2023, you'll see that the sun is beneath us. Now, we we have a leap year and those leap years happen on uh, even dates. Uh, I think, isn't 2024 a leap year, I think? Um, so we add a day in the leap year to account for the fact that every four years you've got an extra day to account for. And if you don't add a leap year, what happens is your calendar gradually goes out of synchronization. Now, we're using the... Uh, uh, modern calendar so the 20th of march is not something that would have had relevance to a prehistoric culture what we do is we add a day now i'm adding it here in 2023 for the sake of just demonstrating what needs to be done to bring the sun closer to the position that we found it at the beginning of what we call our current cycle which is we're just investigating the years beginning of 2020 uh, for the convenience of making this relevant to the time that we're in. This video is being made in 2023. So if you don't do that, if you don't add the day, you will see that in any case the sun leaps back um, at equinox. So if you're watching the sun rising into Cairn T every equinox, you will notice this. Like, okay, it seems to dip and then come back again and dip and come back again and dip and come back again. This is the visual indication of a leap year 
uh, as it were, or sorry, the solar year being longer uh, than 365 days. Now, in uh, pre-literate uh, cultures, in prehistoric society, it is highly unlikely, uh, almost impossible, that the people of that time knew that the the year was 365.24 days. Uh, we don't think that they accounted for uh, fractions of days or used such things as decimal places. But this is where it would have become apparent to them uh, at the equinox, not at the solstice, at the equinox, because this is the time when the sun's daily movement uh, is most extreme. Whereas at the solstice is the sun is standing still on the horizon. So I'll demonstrate what I mean by that momentarily. You'll notice that I might have to forward and this is St. Patrick's Day 2020. Ah, let's make it 2023 just to make it current. So on St. Patrick's Day, the sun rises. What is that? Maybe five sun widths south of east. A day later, of course, you have to account for the time change because the sun is rising earlier every morning. It, it moves quite significantly a day later again uh, there's a, a more significant movement and a day later and uh, so at the equinox the sun is moving fastest it's moving at approximately one sun width per day actually at the equinox but if you were watching this specific uh, uh, date uh, we call it the 20th of march but I'm not sure what they would have called it, but if you're watching from the chamber of uh, Cairn T and you're carefully watching the sun's position, you may well notice that, sorry, I moved the days instead of the years, that uh, this creeping movement of the sun on the same date every year, uh, you know, appears to leap back again. That is the visual cue for the leap year in the Neolithic.